Hello and welcome. My name is Heather and in today's video I am sharing an entryway makeover and closet clean out with y'all. The entryway just has such a big impact because it's the very first place we see when we walk into our home and it's the very first place that guests see when they come into our house. So I want to give ours a refresh to hopefully make it feel more open and inviting clear out some of the larger pieces that are making it feel closed in, and of course go through the closet and clear out any extra things that we no longer need, get rid of some of the extra things that are in the drawers, because this can just be one of those areas that we just drop off all of our extra stuff, right? The mail, our shoes, and so it can tend to get cluttered really quickly. So I hope this video gives you lots of motivation to clear out your own space, if you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. But we're just jumping right into the entryway closet. You can see it has a lot of stuff in it right now. And part of that is because we don't have an actual storage space in our home, but we did recently get rid of a lot of stuff in here and still have quite a few things. So I'm just going through clearing everything out of the closet and hopefully I will be able to get it down to one or two storage units instead of all of these different storage bins and containers. So I'm just clearing everything out so that we have a clean slate to work with. And be sure to stay tuned to the end so you can see the after shots. So this is all of the stuff that I cleared out of the closet. It's amazing how much we can fit into such a small space. And then I have these three units that I'm going to be going through and clearing out. Yeah. Is that you? <gasps> all right, so I just pulled everything out of the entry closet. And I mentioned in my last video that I was going to be going through all of these little tote boxes that I had hidden away in the kitchen and so I'm going to be going through those today because my goal is to actually put them in the entry closets but in a much more consolidated manner so instead of having all of these little bins with labels and these totes and these storage units my goal is to consolidate it into maybe one or two and have those in the entry closet um, as our kind of storage area since we don't really have a storage closet or a garage or anything like that. But I thought I was being super organized when we moved out of our last place by taking everything and putting it in bins with labels. But I come to find out, I have had a harder time finding things since I did this than before. Um, because then I can't remember what is in what tote or where I put it because there's just so many different ones. So we're gonna try to get rid of some of the stuff that's in these totes today if possible and then see if we can get it more consolidated. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. And then things like this, like manuals and stuff, all of these I am just throwing away because I feel like most of this stuff you can look up online now, either on Google, or you can usually find a YouTube video that explains it even better. So all the manuals, I feel like we can just go ahead and toss those. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Oh, well, my husband just got home and brought me a coffee and I'm really gonna need it because this is a lot of stuff to go through. So hopefully this will energize me to keep sorting through all of this. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rockin' the- <laughs> I have a helper. <laughs> Okay, so this is already a lot, all the stuff we're throwing away, old chargers and little cables and things that, you know, we don't know what they go to. So there's an old candle lid, 
that I was saving in case I wanted to do a craft with it. But we are just gonna throw all this stuff away because it's just been sitting here and it doesn't get used. Okay, so we just went through all of these bins and kind of the way I decided what to keep and what to get rid of was for things like cords and cables and we even had a couple of locks in there. So stuff like that, that we don't know what it goes to or we don't still have the key for. That stuff we just unfortunately have to throw away. And then I have some like craft supplies and things like that that I don't think I'll use. So I'm setting those aside to see if my niece wants them. So if you have things that you can give away, then that's a great option as well. And then there were a few things that we can donate. So I have a bin for potential donation items, a bin to give away, some things that need to be shredded, and then trash. So like any of the things that didn't have, um, like I said, didn't we didn't know what they went to or things that we just never use but that were already open packages, then they had to go in the trash. And then we just have some stuff that I need to kind of still sort through and find homes for. That's just baby toys, but like sticky notes and tacks and things like that, I'm gonna try to consolidate into like one container. So I actually taught elementary art for three years and because of that, I've ended up with just a ton of like markers, Sharpies, ribbon craft supplies and i just have all of it still like i just showed you i have all of these drawers tape all of these things that i just kind of accumulated um over the years from teaching and just haven't gotten rid of it stencils stickers so i'm gonna try to just kind of sort through this and see what i can get rid of So like these, all these googly eyes I have tons of these, um, yarn, stickers, so many stickers, um, a mask that I don't even know what that's from, I think, but most of this is just left over from art class or teaching art class and these would be great things to have if you have like young kids that you are doing crafts and projects with but that's a long way off for us so i'm just gonna get rid of all of these things so i filled up almost this entire tote box with old craft supplies and this is not even all of the craft supplies i have another tote and the main closet that i still need to go through and next time I have a craft, I think I'm just gonna buy what I need for that project. And then, yeah, and not hoard <laughs> any more craft supplies. So this saves a lot of space getting rid of this. So a really great reason to do all of this decluttering and going through all these things is, look at this, I just found these three taper candles in here. And I literally just like yesterday bought new taper candles because I didn't know I had these. So, obviously having them in all these little bins where I didn't know where they were was not helpful. I just pulled out this drawer and we literally have like one, two, three, four, four things of scotch tape. And we had like four things of masking tape already threw a couple of old ones away. And probably because we bought more, not realizing that we had it. And this little storage unit, I was able to fit right underneath the bed with our medical records. So that was perfect to save space in the closet. So if you have under the bed storage, that's a great option. And now I'm just putting everything back in that we are keeping. I was able to get rid of one of the entire storage units. So I was really happy about that. And now it's just a lot more condensed. I got rid of a lot of extra stuff that we had just been holding on to for so long and really just pared it down to the items that I know that we use. And this is what it looks like now. So if you remember before, it was completely stuffed from top to bottom. And now there's actually some extra space in here. And I can see exactly where everything is and know that these are items that we'll use. And I'm curious to know if you have an entry closet in your home, or maybe you call it a coat closet. And if so, do you actually use it for coats, umbrellas, and things like that? 
or do you use it for other items like storage like we are? Um, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Okay, so now to go through all of these little bins. I got these actually to help like conceal clutter, but all they really do is encourage us to just stick like random stuff in them. So I'm gonna pull all these out and figure out what can be thrown away and what just needs to be relocated. So all of this stuff was in just those few little bins and some of it is trash, some of it needs to be donated, and then some of it like just needs, like the sunscreen just needs to go in the proper spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And this table was actually our TV stand before, so that's why it's filled with all of these DVDs and movies that we now need to relocate. Okay, so what we did for all of our like DVDs, video games, things like that, is we just went ahead and took them out of the cases and then we're putting them in this soft case. And so that's saving a ton of space because we're getting rid of all of these boxes. And we've got it consolidated to just this one little soft case that won't take up anywhere near as much uh, space as all of those DVDs did. You better grab that tambourine, bring a bass, we might be wicked. We may be forced to come. <laughs> Here's the shoes that you are looking for. I live it. That's So all of the furniture in this room is kind of a hodgepodge of things from our old place. Like I said, the table used to be our TV stand. This little unit that I just took down it used to be our coffee station and we just kind of stuck it all in the entryway it didn't necessarily go together so I'm excited to clear it out and make it look a little more cohesive and we just went ahead and filled in all of the holes with some plaster gave it a fresh coat of paint and then instead of that big table that we had before we're installing a small shelf that will be used as the entry table and I just think it's going to look so much more open. I can't wait to show you the afters. We got this. We got this. And now to put everything back and add the finishing touches. So here is a reminder of what it looked like before. Very closed in and cluttered. And here is the after. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It just feels so much more open. I love walking into our home now. Instead of feeling stressed, it just feels a lot more calm and peaceful in this space.
hope that you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to refresh and declutter your own home, create a more simplified and peaceful environment. And I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button to join me on this journey as we continue to simplify and minimize our lives. Thank you as always for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.